In the ocrelizumab uh, extension trial, they looked at patients who were originally on the OPERA-1 and OPERA-2 trial. These were the relapsing remitting studies. And they followed them out after they either converted over from the um, interferon cohort onto active treatment with ocrelizumab or the people who stayed on ocrelizumab from the beginning. They followed them out to six years. And the questions we've always been asking about these patients is, you know, do the patients who switch over gain a benefit like the patients who were originally started on ocrelizumab from the beginning? Or is, you know, it not really going to help? And so the reality is um, you follow these people out, you look at the patients who remain from the beginning on ocrelizumab, and you see how their relapse rate numbers look. And then you look at the patients who um, got switched over and what happened to them, and do they ever catch up, or, you know, how do things go? And they looked at both relapse rate reductions, and they looked at disability progression. And the, the pieces that came out of this are that the patients who converted over from interferon gained the benefit of relapse rate reduction, similar to um, the population who start from the beginning, but they never seem to catch up. You don't get to get to the level of disability progression um, that the patients who started from the beginning. So I think the take home message for us, and we've seen this with many different clinical trials, is that whatever the more effective therapy is from the beginning, if it started the earliest, is going to have the greatest outcome in suppressing disease activity and ultimately in slowing the disability progression that we're most concerned about. And this data really confirmed that as well. So I think from a practical standpoint, you know, you have to ask the question, am I going to start a patient on a more effective therapy from the beginning? Or am I going to put them on something that may have a little better safety profile or something that's a little milder? And I think the field overall, after we've done so many cl clinical trials with the different agents that have a higher efficacy, we have learned that you're best off starting with the most effective therapies to begin with. Even though there could be a safety question that you are worried about, those are manageable at this point. We know what the safety concerns are. We know how to kind of identify patients at greatest risk, and we're able to kind of figure out how to you know, manage that. But I think the bottom line is, the field overall is saying we need to be starting with a more aggressive therapy from the beginning because you aren't going to catch up if you wait.